Okay, today we're going to walk through how to set up map software on your Windows 7 computer. And in order to do that, uh, you'll need to have administrator rights on the machine that you're using. And so if you don't have those, you'll want to speak with your IT department to get that squared away before you begin. And if you downloaded the map uh, software installer, that's going to look like this setup icon here. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and pop in your CD for installing map software, and that will look something like this entire directory that's uh, shown on my screen here. And so once you have the administrator rights and you're ready to go, we'll open this setup as the administrator. And this is going to prep the map software installer the installer also installs some Microsoft redistributables and a PDF creator. And so it may take a little bit of time to uh, get started here, but uh, just be patient with it. And once you see this screen for the install shield wizard, go ahead and select next. And you'll want to agree to the license agreement and select next. It's going to ask you what industry uh, you're using map software for what industry you're in. I'm going to leave it in the electronics uh, industry for this tutorial and go ahead and select next. Then it will ask you what type of environments you want to have installed with your map software and this depends a lot on what type of hardware you have. If you're in the electronics industry you may have a wave rider or an oven rider but uh, you can go through and select any that you do have and you can also deselect if you don't for example measure humidity you can remove the minimal RH measurement environment for the map software once you're happy with your selections go ahead and select next it does ask you the temperature units uh, these can always be changed later so basically just pick your preference and now we can select the install button and this can take several minutes um, pulling from those Microsoft redistributables and getting that PDF creator loaded as well. And so we'll let the installer do its thing here. Alright, now once the installation wizard has completed, it will uh, give you this notification and you can hit finish. And it also puts a map software icon on your home screen. And so the first time that you run map software, you will want to run it as administrator, just like the installation. And this will allow uh, the registry access that it needs to grab your software key. And so we'll show you this here, but basically just right click on the icon on your home screen and select run as administrator. Once map software loads for the first time, it's going to pull up your registration number. And we can use this registration number to unlock uh, unlimited access to the map software you will have full access for the first 31 days in the trial and so you can use it as normal if your computer does not have internet access uh, at the time that you install the software but eventually you're going to want to web authorize this and so it's very easy uh, to do this you can just copy your registration number straight from the software and click the web authorize button in the software and it will ask you to fill out uh, fill out this registration form and I've already had this filled out and so it pre-populated it for me however once you have it filled out uh, enter your email address towards the bottom that you want the unlock key to be mailed to and check the uh, license agreement for the software and click submit and so it does give you instructions uh, for retrieving the unlock key from your email 
and we'll show you how to do this here. And so you can cancel out of that next page. And when you receive the email, it will look something like this with a 16 digit software unlock key separated by dashes. And you can copy it straight out of your email and paste it straight into the software. And so it makes it really easy. Just click uh, the Start Map button after you've done the web authorize, and it will let you know that it has completed that successfully. And so that is how you install Map Software on a Windows 7 machine.